Okay, I'm going to show you how to check the degree on a camshaft here. Uh, when you need your cam card, I don't know if you can see this, but one of the things that's important to read too is if you're going to degree this camshaft, if you look at the lobe separation on this camshaft is 110 degrees. And if you look at the intake center line, it is 106 degrees. That means that this camshaft is advanced four degrees when it was made at the factory. So at that case, you may decide not to degree the camshaft at anything other than straight up because you already have four degrees advanced in it. And you want to remember that advancing the camshaft will increase low end torque slightly. So, uh, but too much would cause too much loss at higher RPMs. So, Anyway, let's look at this, uh, how to degree this, and you can see over here I've got a, uh, a piston stop that I made, bolted here, a nice thick piece of metal that uh, I have put a bolt down the center here towards the end here so I could come up with a piston, and the piston will stop just before it gets to the top of the uh, stroke here. Okay, then the next step that I'm going to do is I am going to find true top dead center. So I'm going to rotate the engine over here and find true top dead center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start out turning the engine clockwise until it, the number one piston bumps up against my piston stop gently and as you can see it's at 13 degrees on my wheel that I have mounted on the front of the crankshaft. Okay so now I'm going to rotate it counterclockwise until number one piston again comes up against my piston stop and there it is it stopped at about 12 degrees so I was over here at 13 degrees, now I'm here at 12 degrees. True top dead center is halfway in between. So halfway between 12 and 13 is going to be at about a half a degree. So I then will loosen my degree wheel and I will move it halfway so that I am basically going to move it only one half degree right here, my degree wheel. So now, to double check that, I will go clockwise until it stops against the piston stop. And here I go, it stopped at 12 and a half degrees. Now I'll go back counterclockwise and see where it stops. And it's at well, about 12 degrees. So I'm still a half a degree off. So now that I need to move it slightly to get it back so that I'm at halfway between now 12 and a and 12 and a half is going to be about a quarter degree. That's going to be close enough. So, on my cam card now, I'll ha I will look at where I'm going to check this. And on my cam card, I'm going to go off of when my number one cylinder's intake valve is at six thousandths lift, my degree wheel should read 29 degrees. So let's see what I get. So if you come up here, we'll look at the uh, dial indicator. And you can see dial indicator, I've made a, uh, a kind of a little uh, fake lifter that I welded a little push rod to. So I have something here to watch. So I'm going to watch and this intake valve when it opens six degrees, remember, off the time card. I want my degree wheel hopefully at 29 degrees. That means that my cam is set at what the factory says it should be. 
So making sure I have the right camshaft. The camshaft is was ground correctly. So I'm going to go and open till this opens six thousandths of an inch. starting to come up and there is six thousandths of an inch and we'll come over here and see what the dial and uh, the uh, our little dial reads here on the and you can see we're at almost 29 degrees we're a little bit less than 29 degrees so if we thought that we were concerned about a half a degree we could advance the cam a half a degree if we had a way of doing that or have the uh, gear change or something so that one way or the other we could get it at this. For, for me, I uh, am happy that this is within a half a degree of what the cam card says it is. I'm going to leave this one as close enough. If it would have came out at like 26 degrees, something like that, I would advance the cam a little. Uh, so that it would be. So that's how simple it can be. Just monitor that the at six thousandths of an inch of lift once you find true top dead center. Thank you.